Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. This is Allie with Support the Scene. I am coming to you live from Fifth Chord Studios in Vancouver. As you can see behind me, some really killer uh, background. We have some beautiful instruments. This is my jam space. And today I am speaking to some really great artists coming out from, I believe they're from Calgary. Uh, they are currently in Edmonton and their name is Murky Waters. Hi guys. Hey, Hello. hey, how are you? Hey, we're, we're coming to you live from the blue chair where we're yeah. about to play. Yeah, that's the stage behind us. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so great. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, before we get started, I just really would like each one of you to introduce yourselves and what instrument you play. Well, my name is Gage. I do the lead vocals and uh, acoustic guitar. I'm Kermit. I do drums, background vocals, boots, followers, yelps. <laughs> How you do? I'm Uncle Joe. Uh, I play banjo and some washboard. I'm uh, Rose. I play the upright bass and do uh, backup vocals as well. Oh, you guys, you are so much fun. You're such a fun band. I'm so happy to have you uh, ha take the little bit of time that you have on your current tour right now. Um, you are in Edmonton, is that right? But you're from Calgary? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're in Edmonton right now. We all, well, I come from Ontario, so does Joe, but we all met in in Calgary uh, about what, six months ago. <laughs> yeah. About, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, so that's how long the band's been together? No, no, as of, no that's when we met. <laughs> As yeah. a four piece, it's been about two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. But me and Gage have been playing together for six. Six months. Six yeah. months. And uh, we we all have uh, between us, we've all been in different bands and projects for a long time, and we all met at an open mic, and um, you know just clicked immediately, and then we had a bunch of originals between us, so we sat down. We're like, you know, we could start doing shows right away, and it's yeah. been go go we go. Did. <laughs> we did. We started yeah. doing it. That's fantastic. I heard recently uh, one of your songs, well, a couple of your songs actually. Uh, one was one was sober, and cool. and then song, I yeah. sober. It's such a crazy fun uh, vibe. It's got like a bit of a Kentucky vibe. <laughs> right on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fantastic. Cool. I really love how that sounds. And in fact, there was there was a line that made me laugh out loud. It was, uh, <laughs> I went walking with an old Milwaukee in the right hand, but it tripped on the doorstep, so I went ahead and switched to wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty much your lives in a nutshell. Yeah. 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 Summarized into one line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically a song about uh, everything going wrong, but it's okay to smile through it. And uh, if you have to get drunk and stoned to do that, well, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. A lot of us musicians do enjoy a good drink after or during our jam session. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a normal part of life. I'm not condoning crazy, you know, too much. But at the same time, I can appreciate the humor and taking, you know, taking the piss out of it. So that that yeah. was that was a funny song for me. I enjoyed it. Um, also, you were filming from a tiny church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you tell that me about that. Work. That was supposed to be, uh, we went to Drumheller for a photo session. Uh, and one of the, the first spot actually was this uh, really cute little tiny church. It's a six seater, uh, just <laughs> on the outskirts of Drumheller. And uh, we were standing there with our instruments, getting photos taken. And uh, unfortunately, you put instruments in our hands and <laughs> we're going to want to play them. And uh, we, we asked, uh, does, that, does that shoot video? Uh, we did not make any other photo shoot stops. No, we we played a, a full set in this tiny little church, uh, and we we loved it. Uh, no electricity, no heat, no nope. mi yep. minus twenty five. Uh, but... Great vibe. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. it was such a great vibe, and I was like, how the hell did they fit all these instruments? I almost was like, is this a dollhouse? Oh, we didn't barely, barely. Yeah, it was. It took some maneuvering. Like yeah. I couldn't stand up at all. Oh, and then, yeah, that was like, that was the only place that I could put my bass without it actually like hitting the roof. So it is an act with a, uh, with a little pulpit or in the center and a Bible on there. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, I couldn't, great, it's a great vibe. So are you doing some more? Are you going to go back and do some more? Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, um, so, because we did Drug Ballad in there just because I thought it would be really funny to, uh, to well, to do that song there. Uh, I'll leave that. Uh, <laughs> 
but then yeah so we we saw the footage and um we put it out there as just kind of a tester for everybody and, and everybody loved it like other bands were reaching out to see if they can also get in on it so we want to go back with proper audio recording equipment um you know a proper film crew and do like five song sessions there which will be really cool but that's that's coming up soon so I love that idea. Props to the town of Drumheller because uh, they've been very open about not just for dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so um, I definitely uh, want to hear more about like you. You've only been playing for a little while, but at the same time, I hear you've gotten out there a little bit. How, what are some of your favorite places to play, or favorite places you would like to play? Favorite place so far. I, I'll speak for myself. My favorite place was uh, the Unicorn in in. Calgary that was a good time we really like South Block too yeah. um, they're just really great crowds um, we love that like grungy like still full stage but everyone's there to like, have a good time and listen to the music and um, dance and sing along and you know get your babies dancing on the table we've had that before too uh, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, Muggs Pub and mm. Brett the owner because uh, that's that's the open mic uh, that we all met at yeah. and, uh, in Calgary it's, 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 it's yeah, yes, in yeah, Calgary. Calgary. It's not a huge space, but um, honestly, what what's the use of a big stage if the the venue owner isn't just fully invested into music and and supporting the local scene? So uh, that's prime example of a man who brings bands in and is excited for these bands and to see bands. Uh, shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I love that. Um, yeah. Other than that, like we've played what it's got to be like 20, 20 something shows now. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah in, in the short time we've been together. And there's been a lot of, of, of really good experiences. And I don't think we really played a place that we didn't like to play just because we all really enjoy music as it is. Right. Yeah. Is and he put, like Joe said earlier, put a, put instruments in our hands and we're going to play a, a set. <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> much. Yeah. So places we want to play uh, in, in your living room and in, in everyone's living room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. On your car radio. What, yeah. are, what do we want to be known as, Gabe? Uh, oh, your favorite, your favorite drinking buddies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Speaking of drinking, um, so I'm just curious if each one of you could answer this question: if if you were a type of booze or a drink uh, flavor, uh, what what would you be? What would, would you, your person based on your personality? What would you be? Uh, I'd say for me it'd be Fireball. Probably, yeah. uh, just because you know I'm I'm a pretty chill and relaxed guy typically, but then uh, give me a little bit of that and uh, I turn into the epitome of fireball. <laughs> I guess uh, a shit show to say the least, <laughs> in the best way. All hail Caesar! Oh, yeah. All hail Caesar! Nice, nice. Uh, I I would be a I'd be a fine Scotch because um, I'm sweet, well aged. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I go down easy. I like. That. I guess I'd have to say tequila because I'm reliable when you need to get the job done. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Are you guys uh, coming uh, to the West Coast anytime soon so we can catch you over here? We're planning in July. Actually, we're going to be out in Vancouver. So yeah, where are you playing? Do you remember? Um, it's still in the air, but if the if anybody wants to follow our Instagram, we, we regularly post of, of where we're going to be, usually a couple months in advance. So, um, yeah. give you what some time. Your, plan. What's your social handle so that we can get a hold of you? It's Murky Waters Music. Perfect. Well, oh. you know what, you guys? I wish you the best week ahead. I'm so glad that I had a chance to meet and talk with you all. You're a lot of fun. Your music is fun. It's uplifting. It definitely is something that we need right now after, you know, post-pandemic times. It's quite fun to get with you. So, you know, I wish you the best, and I thank you for being here. Any last words? Yeah, we're actually jumping in the studio pretty soon, so we'll have an EP out for everybody on Spotify and Apple Music, probably, um, let's say, tentatively April. Um, but anyway, look out for new music as well, because we are we will have stuff out for you to actually. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm Ali Ross. Thank you for supporting the scene with us. Don't forget to subscribe and like so you can hear a lot more of what's coming on with Support the Scene. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Support the Scene. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow, and share.